Ah, Japan, a country of food, culture, history, women. Also, a country of many secrets. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Cat Island, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about a lesser known Rabbit Island. The actual name of the island is Okunoshima, and it's about two hours east of Hiroshima. It's often also called Usagishima, which uh, literally means Rabbit Island. Now, in present day 2019, if you go to this island, you will find yourself surrounded by a fuck ton of rabbits. Exactly how many is unknown, but it's believed the rabbits were introduced to the island after World War II. Now, if we look at the birth rate of rabbits, they are pregnant for about one month, have litters of 1 to 14 rabbits, and can get pregnant minutes after birth. So, if we're conservative, and we say that only two rabbits came to the island in 1971. Why 1971? We'll get back to that. Now, if they had six babies a month, who then had six of their own babies a month, we can calculate that in 2019, the number of rabbits is more than two. But why were these rabbits brought to this island? The history of Okunoshima is actually quite dark. In 1925, the Japanese Army of Science and Technology started a secret program to make chemical weapons, which were also being produced through the US and Europe. This was shortly after World War I, so Japan was working with allies. But after the Geneva Protocol, which banned the use of chemical warfare, was signed. However, it didn't ban the production and storage, so the US and Europe basically said Omega Wall, and the allies disposed of the gas, and the people were told to stay quiet until the information was forced to later declassified. And in 1988, Okunoshima Poison Gas Museum was open. But what about the rabbits? How did they end up here? According to Mr. Murakami, the former director of the museum, during the war, rabbits were used in the chemical plant to test the effectiveness, but those rabbits were killed and then the factory was destroyed and aren't related to the rabbits that are currently on the island. One rumor is that a kid on a school trip came to the island and released the rabbits. Although this theory is popular, it's fake news. I have two solid reasons for as to why it was not school children. Remember 1971? I use that date because it's the only date that comes up repeatedly across multiple sources. The island was not made into a museum until 1988, so why would school children be taken there? According to Wikipedia, the rabbits are European, usually native to Southwest Europe and Northwest Africa, which means an island nation known for its isolation would have one of its own students introduce a foreign animal? Not likely. So what theories remain? One theory, according to the National Geographic, is a British couple came to the island and released them. But again, why would they come to this island before the museum? Also, two foreigners in Japan with rabbits? That would have raised questions. But it's not impossible. The last is actually the most airtight. Now remember, this factory was supported by the US and Europe in the mid-1920s. And the former director has also even said that rabbits were used. So, if the scientists or soldiers just said, LOL, fuck it, let's let the rabbits run free, not tell anyone, it could have happened. Really, nobody knows for sure, and we may never know. Let me tell you something. I've known about this island for a few years, and I've always wanted to go to Cat Island instead. But after a lot of research, I'm not so sure. This island isn't just a rock with some rabbits. It's a full-on park with lists of do's and don'ts and bikes to rent, hot springs to go, shops to buy from. It's actually quite impressive. This place is definitely a must-go, and I'll be making a video. I'll leave a link below of the official website 